Hello, it's Demester Little Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and today I have a 2018 Ford EcoSport. It's a small, compact SUV from Ford. Its nice black exterior is going to get really dusty here in just a few minutes. So I thought before I take it down the dirt road, I'd show you the exterior before it gets like completely covered. Really, completely covered. Okay, let's uh, fight the sun glare here. This is the exterior. You got the front. It uh, pretty much looks like the car editions with the similar grill. You got the fog lamps. I got a uh, nice. It's silver. It's not really chrome down there. So it's chrome here, and it's just a silver down here. So it's not really chrome, but it's a uh, it's it's a nice look. I like it. Um, go around the back. I do have the chrome. This is the titanium package, the highest trim package. So on your non-titanium package, you'll just have a body color matched, or it'll be a gray. You won't have the chrome there. Um, it is the four-door SUV, which is typical four doors SUV. That's how it works. Um, unlike some of the other SUVs, like the CHR that has the latch here to open the door, you do have a real door here handle that opens to the back to the back doors. I don't know why it's locked at the moment, but it is. All right, uh, we have the uh, fuel door. Let's see if it's capless. It is capless. This is a really nice innovation these days. Stick it, the fuel in there and you're done. You don't have to deal with the cap anymore. We're gonna go around the back. Like I said, it's the Echo Sport. It is titanium. You'll see a little more chrome. Again, your uh, non high trim level won't have the chrome, but it's, it's basically the same vehicle. Then come around the other side. And that's how it looks. All right, so. I'm going to go ahead and get it nice and dirty now, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you the interior in another video, or a little bit later. Sorry, same video, a little bit later. Here we are with the 2018 Ford Echo Sport. I'm driving out of Cheyenne. Just had lunch with my friend, and we're heading to Denver. I'm doing 65, well, 70 miles an hour <laughs> um, in the new Echo Sport. This is basically Ford's answer to losing the Focus and Fiesta in the United States. This is the similar car, uh, similar as far as cheap price point and a fuel efficient engine and uh, sort of similar cargo space. So you actually lose a little bit of cargo room in the back because it's taller, it's not as, as long. But I, th I think for most consumers it's good enough and you can get in just like you would any SUV versus the car. So this is the titanium package, their highest trim level package. This is probably not the one that most people are going to buy. Most people are going to buy the uh, entry level, I believe it's SE. And that'll start at $19,000. Uh, 20, I think my memory serves me right. It's 25, 27, or it could be 27, 29, sorry. Um, with the small 1 liter turbocharged engine as the stock engine, there is a 2.0 liter, which is what this is, in the titanium package. And I have the all wheel drive, or excuse me, four wheel drive, they say, which I'm sure it's all wheel drive configuration. Um, so far, you know, it's it's got little small 14-inch tires. It's probably not my cup of tea of what I would buy as far as a vehicle, but it does the job. It's exactly what consumers want. It's a it's a cheap entry-level SUV that has a lot of the uh, features you want. I got dual USBs up front. I I can use my Apple CarPlay inside the car. I do not have Sirius XM. It's, again, I can use my Apple CarPlay, so it's not that big of an issue. Um, I don't need navigation. I don't need those kind of features when I have my Apple plugged in. Uh, Apple phone plugged in. I believe it's got Android Auto as well, so either one would work. Um, driving, I mean, it's 75 miles an hour right now. I've done 80, 85 with this. 85 and 2.0 liter. Yeah, you know, we're giving it all. We're giving it quite a bit of gas. I mean, we're we're really uh, winding that out. Um, I'll put the horsepower and torque down below. So that's about as much as we're going to get out of this, which is fine. Again, this is what you want. This is what you guys have told me. You wanted a cheap, inexpensive SUV. Here it is. Uh, you know, and so I can see it for around town. I can see it for the occasional driver. And I can see buying a new vehicle for $20,000 and having something reliable and a warranty, a five-year warranty on it. It's hard to beat. So for more Pickup Truck Plus SUV news, make sure you check us out on PickupTruckTalk.com. Send an email to Tim at PickupTruckTalk.com. Uh, leave hate mail below. We're on social media. We're on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Don't mention how much I suck, how much more you want to see the vehicle. All that stuff. 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you down the road.